Welcome, my friends. Starting off, got to deal with that this summer, but we are back. We are getting back on schedule. Last night, look what showed up. Yes, that's right. The boat is back. I am excited. Today is opening day of turkey season, but I've decided to skip out on that because I have more time to turkey hunt than I'm going to have to early season bass fish in the zone 20. So we are headed to the early season zone 20 deal. It is absolutely freezing out here. I was up super early this morning and I've been kind of kicking it around the house, killing time because it is one degree out and we need some sun to hit that water and then things should happen out there. Ton of rods. I've also got some giant swim baits that I got from East Hill Outdoors. I work at East Hill Outdoors for any of you guys don't know. We're trying to grow our fishing department, making it bigger and bigger. Now, a couple questions about the new Beer League Outdoors. <sighs> channel's changing. Life is changing. I'm maturing. I watched some of the videos over the winter that I did 10 years ago. I'm just a different guy. Beer League Outdoors, we can all appreciate the beer leagues. We can all appreciate having fun on the water, in the woods, in life. So after a lot of thinking and a lot of considering my options for names, for branding, this is what I've gone with. I really like it. Let me know in the comments how you feel about it. So we are going to get on the road. We are going to spend the day making sure everything in the boat is perfect. Big shout out to Marley for hooking me up. We got some new electronics on the front that I'll talk about, but we're just killing time now. Let's get on the road. Let's go do some fishing. I've already been out there once and we creamed them and then I had to wait three weeks for my boat and then we had some bad weather. So I've already caught some bass this year. Let's just go figure out a little bit of boat action, a little bit of fish action before May 10th when this all closes. We have made it to the lake. Many of you just can tell just from the backdrop that I really like to fish this area and I've been fishing here a ton, but there's a reason for this. First off, it's zone 20, which means you can bass fish. The other thing is this year, I put Live Scope Plus on the boat. In the past, as many of you guys, if you've been watching for years, know that I had Garmin Pan Optics. I had Garmin Live Scope and I didn't take it very seriously. I did not think that it was going to be the gene, the game changer that it has become. So this year, after watching and Scott Martin's win on Lake Okeechobee. I decided that if I ever want to competitively fish again, I'm going to have to learn how to use it. I am going to have to practice. Also, this is not a plug for Garmin. I paid for everything on this boat. I just know Garmin from the past. I'm really comfortable with using it. So I'm sticking with Garmin. And all that being said, my friends, it means that I'm not 1000% committed to never fishing tournaments again. A lot of things have changed over the years. I swore I would never ever get on an airplane and last week I went to Hoyt in Salt Lake City and I flew on three airplanes. So if I'm ever going to competitively fish again, I need to learn how to use that live scope. I need to learn how to use perspective mode as I really like to fish buckets and shallow water. It's going to help. Do I think that you need this to have fun? Absolutely not. Do I think you need this to catch fish? Absolutely not. I just think it's a tool and if you're going to competitively fish, you need to be on the same playing field. So the plan today is, and all season long, is to learn how to use that unit to the best of my ability. The other thing, we got to get this in the water. It's going to be a fun day. The air temperature is warming. The water is cool overnight as it was below zero. You guys might have seen a couple weeks ago we were out here. The water is 43 degrees and we pounded the snot out of them. I do not expect to it to be crazy. I don't think I'm going to get 100 fish today. Well, as largemouth, especially like warming trends. So last night's cold front would be a cooling trend, even though the water temperature will be warmer than it was a couple weeks before. That's just how she goes. So let's get this boat in the water. Hopefully it starts. That's always a concern of mine at the beginning of the year. And we're just kind of fun day catching bass. Hopefully catching bass. We're gonna have a fun day regardless. Here we go. As you can see, we're not on the water. I cannot get that big engine to pull over and I'm pretty sure the starter battery in this boat is cooked. So we are going to go and have to find a battery and then we'll come back and fish. That's the plan. It's not going so hot, but I guess this is why we're out early, making sure everything's gonna work. Well, let's go. We made it to Cobert, to Napa, where Mr. Mercer Marine's wife, Kate, works. And I got a new battery in the boat. I even tried kicking it over. It is going to go. Thank you. They like, it doesn't get any more beer league than having to find out your battery is dead. So battery is in the boat. I think we're now ready to fish. So let's go back to the boat launch and we'll figure out what the next problem is going to be. That is the classic boat bet on another thousand, my friends. All right, let's try this again. All right, all right, let's try this again. Oh, 
There we go. Boat engine has started. I did replace the water pump and lower seals on the lower unit. Looks like there is water coming out of it. Let's go fishing finally. Let's go. I gotta park that truck first, but then we're going fishing. zone here this has been an interesting morning my friends first we had battery problem now we have finding fish problems so we've changed up i'm gonna go back to where we caught them earlier in the year see if we can't find them there it's hard to learn live scope when you can't find any fish i lost one i saw two in the shallows but they aren't what we're looking for so we're gonna keep plugging away here hopefully fingers crossed we are going to find some fish after all that difficulty with the battery let's go Finally, 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 I found myself a bass. Two for two, two for two. We're on to something now. We're on to them now. That's a good one. That's a good bass. That's a good one. That friend is the first one I ever saw on a live scope, and I even watched myself set hook. That was pretty cool. There's two more down there. Oh, that's two I would have never got without the scope. One more down there. Live scope plus is crazy. So I did have pan optics, like I said, and I did have live scope, the original one, and I, I didn't really use them. I have caught, I think I caught two that I was just getting plucking along. And now that I got this kind of dialed in, you can see on the screen, I've just been going back and forth. I watched that last fish just absolutely come out of that weed, but there's one right there sitting there there is bass in there just watching the screen even if i can't like get them to bite and chase i'm just so much more confident right now that i can see fish down there and i can keep cashing i can keep plugging along at this so very cool i've learned a lot today it's been freezing cold it's been very expensive i've got blood but i've learned a lot and i'm gonna keep going i'm gonna get a couple more before i gotta go but interesting this is amazing i wish i had somebody hold the camera for i could show you but craziness oh, 
that's three. I'm even seeing more down there now. Oh, it's been cold, but at least it's been insightful. I've learned a lot here. This is absolutely insane. This is crazy. I can't believe that I had pan optics and live scope before and I didn't use it like this. I went from like zero on the day, nothing, couldn't find fish to like almost one after another. And I like, it's crazy. My friends, we have made it home. I got the boat all cleaned out. I still have to deal with this disaster. We're trying to come up with a plan to replace this and keep the boat nice and safe. Also, we, and I mean Brooklyn, is in the middle of painting and redoing the house. We're doing some renovations to the house. We are trying to get that done before the real, real nice weather comes. Today, I caught all my fish, just so you guys know. Right here, X zone. True center stick color 309 honestly i don't think the color has anything to do with it that's a pretty good smallmouth color i think that was just the first pack that i reached into the bin and grabbed a hold of x zone is a canadian company and i like canadian products so uh, that's what i've been using my friends also if you have any questions about the video drop a comment give a like let me know what you want to see more of i'm going to do some public land turkey hunting and all that good stuff but right now i am going to go get cleaned up cook dinner for the family ash man's up back with the dogs playing on his trampoline and then i'm probably going to offer help to brooklyn to get this house finished if i can hang my buck back up there i'll show you guys that too my friends thanks for coming along today again drop a comment hit that like button tell a friend if you got fishing questions you can ask there if you live in my area you can come to east hill outdoors i'd be i'm there all the time i'd love to help you in person explain everything live scope it was pretty awesome today i did learn a little tiny bit about it i wish i would have used it before when i had it a lot more but Einstein is 2020. I did get some fish that I would have never caught ever without that live scope. So learning experience. Here we go. 2024. Let's go. We'll see you soon, my friends.